This is a video on how to play Mage within Happy Wars. So this is some of the tactics that I use when I'm playing co-op mode. Uh, there's a lot of different tactics when you're playing multiplayer. A lot of people play a lot more defensively or have different builds. But in co-op mode, you pretty much want to go all attack, especially as a mage. So I have a 1200 damage weapon equipped. Also with ambush level 3, so this really makes it so that I want to get behind people and attack them. So first thing, if anybody throws down a sacred song or a cheer, you're going to want to hop in that, just because it'll level you up to level 3 right off the bat. And then you're going to want to try and get on the towers as people build them. So one of the keys here is you don't have to actually be building the towers, you just have to be in that little circle around the tower. Unfortunately, I was busy killing people at the moment, but uh, that's one of the keys is you can still be casting spells or doing other things, you have to be standing in that little circle as well. So one of the tactics I do to conserve some mana is on some of the weaker players I will beat them down so I can uh, keep casting lightning strikes and some other things. So one of my bread and butter tactics here is the wind trap and I'll love to put, just put those down especially if the uh, computer is overly aggressive and will be coming after you. Otherwise on a map like this, lightning strike is a great one. You can try and bounce people off the maps. If you have a high enough damage weapon, uh, you can just kill people in one shot, and that's really the best. Um, one of my friends, he has a 1400 damage weapon and pretty much a one shot any of the PC players instantly. So especially in little areas like that, just casting lightning bolts over and over is really effective. Uh, especially if you have Sacred Song on, you're just getting mana left and right, so you can just keep casting it. And if you have Conserve AP, that's really nice also. So one of the great tactics as a mage is to just shoot the arrow towers with lightning bolts just like that. It'll normally break the arrow tower if you have a high enough damage weapon in one shot. Instantly get a kill, as you can see there. And then I'll just keep shooting at people as I run back and forth waiting for the computer to build towers. And then I just kind of milk it and just keep doing this over and over. So that's a pretty simple tactic. You just have to make sure you conserve some of your mana for the lightning bolt effect. So you can run in there and beat people down, especially on the first round. Uh, the computers are going to be weaker, and they don't really have that much attack. You have to watch out for rocks, of course. Those are the most annoying things on Earth. That and the rest from the warrior. That one's pretty annoying too, I find. So like in that area right there, I like the lightning enchant, that one's really nice, it'll slow the enemies down, but for major damage I like going wind enchant when I can, and that's just awesome. Get behind somebody with the ambush power on and wind attack them with all three little hits, and you can easily one shot people or take a considerable amount of their health down. Also, I found that if you can find a weapon that has Wind Enchant Plus, or Fireball Plus, or one of the powers plus, it's actually a beefed up power. So if you have Fireball Plus, it's going to give you a giant fireball that you shoot out. So when you're playing multiplayer, you'll run across that, and co-op, you won't really run across it, because the uh, computers don't have any of those perks. But if you have any questions about how to play Mage anymore, or need any other help, just leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you.